<clears throat> hey guys, how's it going? It's Ryan Shannon here again, and I'm back with a vlog video. Now, I'm sitting in a chair today because I uh, noticed in my last couple of videos when I'm talking, I seem to get a little bit breathless. Um, and that, I think, has something to do with the fact that I'm sort of either kneeling down on the floor because my tripod is small, um, or I'm just, I don't know, running out of breath. So I figured I'm going to sit down and I'm going to relax. <sighs> Take my time with this video. Um, so how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great. Um, I guess it's just a little vlog, just a sort of little uh, catch-up video, just to see how um, I'm getting on. I haven't been, I haven't actually shot a video, like purposely shot a video since I got a package from um, Gaming and Console Tech, um, which I don't know if you can see up there. Um, you, not, you might not be able to, but I've got the all the stuff that he gave me up in the top of my shelf here um, and that's where all that sits as you can see most of my master system games are here you might be wondering what's going on here um, well there's a reason why I've got some games like that I'm a little bit worried about um, games getting sun faded at the minute so I tend to turn them around until I can find a better setup I'll turn them around away from the sun it's sad I know um, so they're not going to get sun faded right it's, it's, it's sad but uh, it makes me feel a little, little bit better inside, so, and that's what I'm doing. So, what have I been doing recently? Well, I've been playing a lot of PS4, um, I have that's some stuff for uh, another episode, I don't know if you can see that, but, yeah, I've been playing a lot of PS4, um, I have actually really blasted my way through the PS4, I haven't really touched any other system, I mean, the 3DS got a little go, of, what was it, about four or five weeks ago, um, the Master System occasionally gets an airing at the minute. It just seems to be my life is just PS4, com like completely PlayStation 4. So games that I've been playing recently, well... I got this one through the post, uh, Mortal Kombat X. I actually pre-ordered this from Game. As you can see, it's a special tin edition. I'm holding Dying Light there for a reason. You'll see why in a moment. Um, but yeah, so it's a, it's a little tin. Little tin. I'm actually having problems with this game. Um, I got the uh, Goro downloadable content. I really like that. I think that's fucking ace. But um, yeah, I have. Um, I've been really, really looking forward to this game. Also, I love Mortal Kombat Nine. Absolutely epic game that was. Um, and yeah, I've really been looking forward to playing this game. But I'm a little bit annoyed. As soon as I got the game, I couldn't play the story mode, and I haven't tried it for a couple of days. But it's the same, I can't seem to get the story mode, so if any of you guys know how the fuck to fix this, let me know. Um, because it's doing my heading, so I really want to play story mode. Um, I blasted through most of it, well, just sort of playing um, matches with a girlfriend. She's quite good, fuck, um, at this game. So, um, yeah, I've just been sort of been playing that, sort of testing out fatalities, testing out the moves. Really love the graphics, I love the interaction with the, the scenery you can have in the background, you can pick up boxes and throw them at people. Uh, I really love all that, I think it's a really fantastic game. Graphically, it's sound as fuck, but I'm just really, really annoyed that I can't get the story mode. And I know that it's a problem worldwide, it's not just myself. It's probably been fixed now that I'm talking about this, so this is just making this a little bit redundant, but um, that's been bugging me for a little bit, so yeah, there you go. So Mortal Kombat X on the PS4 is a big thumbs up for me, but a little bit annoyed that I can't play the story mode at the moment, so I'm hoping I can get that fixed. But we'll see. So, you might be wondering why I'm a little bit hunched. Um, I'm a little bit worried that you're not going to be able to see me if I sit up properly. I've got a mirror behind. No, well, maybe you can. Not too bad. So yeah, games I've been playing recently. Right. Well, Dying Light. Um, I played this the last like week or so. Uh, and I've been... I've really... I've, I've, I've kind of been enjoying it. It's... It's very much like Dead Island for me. It's like that that initial reaction I got from Dead Island uh, when I started playing that. It's a lot. It's just pretty much exactly the same as that. It's um, it's a very good game graphically. It's all right. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, I'm glad that I waited for the physical copy to come out. Don't get me wrong. I'm really glad I waited for that because I did not want to download this game. I think if I downloaded the game, I probably would have hated it um, because I love having physical copies in, in my collection. Like for example, Resident Evil. Love the game, um, I love the, the remastered uh, version of it, but I really want to 
get a physical copy of it, it sucks so. But Dying Light, it's alright, I can't say too much about it because I'm not that far through it. But uh, from what I've played of it so far, it's okay, it's not very difficult. Um, which, I'm sure it's going to get a lot harder, but from what I've played of it so far, it's pretty fucking simple. Um, and that's me playing it on the harder setting as well, so... We'll see how we go. I'm liking that you can climb pretty much everything, which it does say in the background. It's not lying, you can pretty much climb anything you, you go up to. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's pretty easy, I'm not really struggling with it. But as soon as I complete that, you guys will know. And the reason I'm telling you all that is because I've got a new series coming up. I'm going to be doing a new series of games I've been playing recently. It's either going to be like a weekly thing, or it's going to be a monthly thing. Probably be a monthly thing, because I, I, you know, I work full time, so I don't really have much time to sit down and play like maybe like one, more than one or two games uh, uh, a week, or like a, a month even, should I say. So it'll probably be a monthly series, um, so you'll be getting that. So every game that I play that month, you guys will know about it, um, and I'll give you a little bit of review on what I thought about it as well. So you'll see some retro, you'll see some new games in there as well. And that's basically, so you guys can see that I am playing what I'm getting. Which I haven't been lately, I'll be honest. Um, and more for me to actually sit down and play them. Um, because I've got a lot of games I haven't played. Um, but, yeah, I just want to sit down and play them. So that's what that series is going to be about. So hopefully that'll be up soon. Um, either next month or... It, it won't be this month, but hopefully it'll be up at some point next month. And then we'll just see where we go with it. Um, you know, I tend to do series occasionally on my channel. They don't seem to do all that well, bar the pickups or the gaming collections videos. So we'll see how this one goes. So you never know. It might be alright, it might be shit. Who knows? We can only try and see. I know other YouTubers out there do it as well. Um, but it's just sort of so you can see what I've been playing. And then you can kind of see what kind of games I'm into. So. And you know me with my reviews, I'll just tell you it is how it is. If it's crap, it's crap. I'll fucking I'll just tell you. So yeah. So hang about for that, that'll be coming soon. I'm also going to be reprising, now I'm a little bit excited about this, I don't know why I should be, but I am. I'm going to be reprising a series that I did um, back in the day, because I've been on YouTube for a couple of years now, which is amazing to me. I was actually sitting down the other day looking through all my videos and I was like, oh my Christ, the numbers keep getting lower, it's like 2014, 2013, 2012, like, oh my Christ. So yeah, so YouTube's taken up my life for like the past three or so years. and. I've done, a lot, I've done a few series, I've done like pickups, gaming collections, let's play, let's talk, vlogs, um, I've done um, gifts and packages that I've got from other YouTubers, I've done on the road pickups, I've done quite a few things on my channel, it's not just been one, it's been one medium in terms of like gaming and all that, but it's not been like just one thing all the time, it's been like the odd mashup of things here and there, and I do enjoy putting other series in, like other videos in between pickups, I don't really like uploading pickup after pickup. Um, because like my episodes for example, I don't like uploading like, last week I uploaded episode 97, I didn't like that, but I literally had no ideas on what to do for a video for, to bridge the gap between the two episodes, so that's why episode 96 and 97 is together. There's a few times where like all my episodes were together, like at the start of my channel, but um, I don't really look back at them now, I sort of just leave them, they are what they are, um, my, the channel has evolved from then, um, so I don't tend to go back to them very much, but it's nice to go back and have a little look at your past videos just to see what kind of stuff you were picking up. Because I've, I've, I mean, I've picked up that many games, I've kind of forgotten what I've, I've bought in the past. So uh, yeah, it's nice to it's nice to have that there. So, but yeah. But anyway, so as I was saying, I'm going to be reprising a series. I'm going to be reprising for one video only, um, a special one-off series. So it's going to be either let's play or let's talk. Um, let's play. And it's going to be a little bit awkward, but with this new camera, I might actually be able to work it. So, I don't do gaming capture cards and all that kind of shit, no. It's on the camera, that, that's how I like to do it, so. That is one option. Uh, the other one is Let's Talk. It's kind of, kind of redundant in a way, because it's going to, it's not going to be like... Well, it's not redundant, that's shit. It's not going to be like my talking about uh, games I've played recently, because it's going to be focusing on one series, or it's going to be focusing on one console, so it's not... I actually like that at all, so, <clears throat> scrap what I just said, it's going to be either Let's Play or Let's Talk, I would say On The Road Pickups, but I've got so many of them videos up at the moment uh, on my channel, I must have about, I think I'm on like episode 11 or something of On The Road Pickups, um, and I'm going to be doing more, as soon as Gumtree 
starts coming up with some stuff I can buy, go and travel and get at a good price, and it's not fucking ridiculous. Like on like just check Gumtree and Aberdeen, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Um so yeah, so I'm going to be reprising one of those series, but you guys decide. So, head over to my Facebook page, let me know what you think, which one you would like to see me do a one-off special of. I'm going to try and make it as really good as I can, so I'm going to take my time with it. But um, it's going to be Let's Play or Let's Talk. So you decide which one for a one-off special, um, and then that'll probably be the end of that series. But it might not be, it may be that... You know, it does really, really well, and you guys want to see more. Who knows? Um, but let me know what you think, either in the comments below, if you don't have Facebook or you don't have me on Facebook, go and add me on Facebook. Um, yeah, and go and leave in the comments below, or leave me a message there, let me know what you think. Um, I'll be doing that hopefully soon, but I don't know actually. It'll probably be a couple of months. I've got to take my time with it anyway. But let me know what you think. So yeah, either let's play or let's talk. Which video would you like me to do? So let me know. Comments below or add me on Facebook, let me know there. PM me on Facebook. I know a lot of my friends on Facebook uh, are on my personal page as well. Ooh, sort of the glasses. On my personal page as well. Just PM me or message me or send me a text message or something. Just let me know what you want to do and I will announce it in a future video. What's going to be coming. Um, and yeah. We'll see how we'll see where we go with that basically. So, right, moving on. So that's my DVD wall. I'm currently sorting it out, believe it or not. There is an order to it. Um along the top there you'll see lots of horror films, that's like the horror section. Then you've got like comedy, action and superheroes down here. It's getting sore. I've got like DVDs everywhere. I've got DVDs here, I've got DVDs over there, I've got DVDs down there. I've got, everywhere is full of DVDs at the moment, so I'm going to be sorting them out at some point. So fingers crossed I can do that soon. I've kind of been working on it the last couple of weekends. But anyway, yeah, that's that's off topic. Right, moving on. Um, what else can I talk about? This is a vlog, it's sort of turning into like an announcements video. Um, let me see how much time I've got left on the camera. Oh cool, we've got 16 minutes. I'm kind of hoping I'll get through it by then. Um, yeah, I've, um, I've quit smoking, which I have said a few times on my channel, but it's now over three months I've quit smoking for. Um, I know that'll surprise a lot of people who I don't talk to, but I know still watch my YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, I, I quit smoking in January. And I think I had my last cigarette on the 17th of January. Uh, and it's been hard, it's been really, really difficult, but I think when I got my first paycheck in ja at the end of January, it was, that kind of inspired me to keep going. Uh, I really struggled with it to start with, but seeing how much money I had left over at the end of the month, considering to how much I used to have, which was either like a pound or a penny, um, you know, having like four, sometimes 450 pounds left at the end of the month, extra, that I had no idea, um, that really, that really just blew my mind that I could go out and I can buy things that I want. Think I can go out and do things that I want to do um, that I was struggling with because I was smoking. And this is one of the reasons I'm out of breath because I'm not fully recovered yet. But I'm getting there. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to go out and uh, buy games that I maybe th thought I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to get yet. I'd have to save up for a long time for. Um, more for the Master System collection because I've been able to get some games for that that really... Of cost a fortune, but haven't really bothered me too much because I've been able to afford them um, because I haven't been smoking. So, yeah, my Master System collection has come on leaps and bounds because of that. So, it's not too bad. But I've kind of neglected other systems. I've kind of just focused on the Master System. So I need to sort that out. But yeah, it's really, I'm really, really pleased I've quit smoking. Um, yeah, and long may that continue. But um, yeah. So that's it. Quit smoking. Um, and yeah, I've got more money for games, so I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I just hope I can keep it going. I'm not out of the woods yet. I'm sort of half feeling the benefits. I'm like hungry all the time now. Um, so I might be putting on a bit of weight. But I'm going to exercise that off. Um, but I feel a lot better for it. Um, a lot more. I'm not as dizzy as I used to be because I... Um, I suffer from labyrinthitis, 
Um, and obviously, like, once I get a bit dehydrated or a little bit tired or whatnot, which smoking did to me all the time, eh, I would get dizzy. Um, it would just come on all the time. And I occasionally get it now, but it's not as bad as it used to be. So that's really, really good. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. And of course, the sinuses are feeling a little bit better. So all is good in the hood. So yeah, so that's that really. Um, hopefully I can keep that going for the rest of the year. Um, we'll see. My main goal is just to sort of get through the year without smoking. Um, if I can do that, then I'll be sorted. Um, I'm, I'm confident enough that I, I think I probably could do it. Haven't been on a night out yet properly that I can say, mm, like I'm not going to smoke. But I haven't, haven't smoked since January, so I'm hoping I can keep that going. Fingers crossed for me, guys. Um, I would love to beat this habit. I've been smoking for 10 years, so I really need to cut it out. Um, so yeah, that's great. And I don't drink either, so I'm kind of getting healthy. Oh. But well, I would say that, apart from all the shit that I eat, all the chocolate and the crisps and stuff, hence the weight's coming on a little bit. But yeah, whatever. Right, moving on. I recently put up a thing on my Facebook page. This is the Q&A section. I recently, <laughs> I recently put up a thing on my Facebook page saying, right, like, you know, if anything you want to ask me, Ask me now, and I will put in a, a video. So my Facebook page link below, and um, go and check it out. You know, and if you want to ask me anything, leave a question below, and I will do it in a future vlog video. So Q and A's are going to happen all the time. But um, first question I got was from Nez Nate. Awesome, awesome guy. Awesome channel. Really, really cool to talk to. And um, yeah, I love chatting to you, Nathan. You're a really, really awesome bloke. Um, link to channel below. Um, he asked me, what's your top three favourite Master System games that you own? Right, well, considering I've got, like, over 200, um, that's a lot of games. And there's a lot of them I haven't played yet, I'll be honest. But from what I've played, I would have to say, and uh, this is probably going to be the, the really generic answers, I really, really like Robocop vs. Terminator. Um, I can remember playing it on the Mega Drive back in the day. I got a new in the Mega Drive and I absolutely loved it. Um, I hated how hard it was, but I really enjoyed the concept of it. And playing on the Master System, it's obviously it's not graphically as good, but it still takes me back to that memory of so just sitting down and just being absolutely addicted to playing the game. So, uh, Robocop vs Terminator. Really, really enjoyed that on the Master System. Um, having completed it, as is the Mega Drive game, I just haven't gone around to completing them yet, but I really, really enjoyed this one. So Robocop vs Terminator. It's an absolute classic. Um, anything else I can see that I really like? Streets of Rage is obviously an absolute belt of a game. Um, what else is down here? The Offense, I actually really like that one as well. Master of Darkness. In fact, have I got one here? I've got a pile of games that I'm selling. Um, and I think it's in here somewhere. Oh no, I think I sold that. <coughs> yeah, Master of Darkness. Um, probably number two. It's a Castlevania ripoff, but oh, I can't get out. It's a Castlevania. It's down there. It's a Castlevania ripoff, but it's a really good one. I really like the music for it. It's a little bit repetitive, but um, I really like it. Uh, it's fun to play. Like I get the feeling of I'm, I'm playing Castlevania when I play it. So it's a Castlevania game on the Master System for me. Um, but yeah, so Master of Darkness um, and Robocop vs. Terminator being the first two. The third game that I really, really like. Now, this is a tough one because I've got many. Um, this is a tough one. I'm probably... I know a lot of people will be saying, like, Alex Kidd, why are you not mentioning that? It's good. And it's good. But I've got so many and I've played quite a few that I, I want to mention something else. Um, oh, God. Right, I'm having a little peek here, see what there is. See what I got. See if anything springs to mind that I really enjoy. Off the top of my head. Oh, you, you've caught me with the third one, Nate, I've got to be honest. There's there's loads, I'm just seeing if there's anything that's going to jump out to me. Well, Road Rash. Um, it's, it's there, Road Rash, Streets of Rage, I really like that one. Terminator's pretty good as well, Terminator 2 is uh, not so good. Um, Tasmania, Title Chase HQ, there's loads. Um, but I would probably go for none of them. I'm going to go for Sonic Chaos. Um, Sonic Chaos is brilliant. I really, really like that. Obviously, when I played Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, 
I didn't enjoy them so much because I was so used to the Mega Drive versions. I was kind of thinking it was just going to be a massive system support of that. But they weren't. They were completely different games. Sonic Chaos, for what it is, is a really, really awesome game in the Master System. And I highly recommend getting that if you can. It's, it's easy to get a hold of. It's not difficult. So that's my um, selections for your question, uh, Nathan. Really cool question, by the way. You totally caught me with that. So, um, yeah, those are my... Those are my suggestions for you, so yeah, go and check them out. They're pretty good games. Awesome stuff. So just to recap, Robocop vs Terminator, Master of Darkness, and Sonic Chaos. That's my three favourite games so far. Right, another question. How many minutes have I got left? Because I've been babbling a little bit. Okay, eight minutes. Oh, <laughs> we're getting there. Right, what's your favourite Game Boy game and how long have I been collecting for the Game Boy? And that's from Richard Howard, who does have a channel. I'll leave a link below. Um, right, Richard, uh, my favourite Game Boy game. Again, I've got over 400 Game Boy games and they all sit in my tower over here. You've kind of caught me in the hot with that because I've got so many games, I, I love loads of them. But the game that I bought that really stood out to me as soon as I got it, because I got it and I was like, what the hell is this? Because I've never heard of it before. And I don't have it to hand, it's, it's in there, but you've seen it before, I've mentioned it a few times. Um, it's a puzzle game. Um, and the Game Boy is full of puzzle games. Um, absolutely chock-a-block full of them. But this one in particular just stands out to me every single time somebody asks me, oh, what, what sort of Game Boy games are really good? This one will always be in there. And that game for me is Boxel. Now that might surprise you. Um, you just move boxes around. But the simplicity of it and the fact it's so addictive, I just I can't get enough of it. And I absolutely love that game on the Game Boy. So Boxel is my pick. But I kind of feel like I'm like I'm betraying so many other really awesome franchises on the Game Boy, but Boxel. I'm just Boxel. That's my favourite Game Boy game. Um I can sit and play that for hours and never get bored. Other games like Mario, I can sit and complete. Um Without dying, I mean, uh, uh, you know, they, they kind of get a little bit samey, but Boxel is so hard, and there's so many puzzles, and Boxel Two is pretty good as well. So, the Boxel series is awesome. Go and check it out. Um, yeah. So, thanks, Richard. And collecting the Game Boy, how, how long have I been collecting since I started YouTube? Um, that's really it. That what inspired me to start YouTube actually was the fact that I was sitting one day and I, was, I can't remember what I was doing. I was on YouTube, um. I don't know why I was on YouTube, and I thought I'd look for Super Mario Brothers on the NES. Uh, and I found it, and I found the gameplay of it, because I hadn't seen gameplay of it since I was a kid. And I really wanted to play it again. And I seen gameplay of it, and I was like, you know what, I really want to play that. And I sat down, and I thought, right, sod it, I'm getting an NES again. I want to, I want to get the games I had when I was a kid, and that was initially how my collection started. Um, and the Game Boy was a massive part of that because I already had Game Boy games sitting over, but the uh, the whole idea of collecting the games that I had when I was a kid. Now I can I can remember some games I had. I couldn't remember them all, so I kind of spiraled out of control with the collection. Funnily enough, I never had a Master System when I was a kid. I I did well. My friends did. I didn't. Um, so I don't know why that's hooked on me for collecting now, but. The Game Boy just sort of started after I got an NES and I got a couple of games for the NES. Then I got a Game Boy because I wanted to get um, Mario, Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins. Um, and it's just spiralled out of control since then. So I've been collecting pretty much ever since I started YouTube. So there you go. Thanks very much for the question, dude. Right, next question. What's your first memory of multiplayer gaming with friends? From Darren. Daz, who occasionally has a YouTube channel, occasionally, and he does, but he's really cool, I really, really love speaking to him, and I'm definitely going to come down and visit you in Newcastle, mate, at some point, hopefully this year, if not this year, it will definitely be next year, but I will definitely come down, um, he's giving me an open invite to go down, which is very, very kind of him, but, um, what's your first memory of multiplayer gaming with friends, now I asked him specifically, do you mean online gaming, or just gaming in general, you know, like um, one or two players, and he just said, um, just like retro gaming with your friends, like no online gaming at all. Which is fine, because I don't really do online gaming. But, um, oh, first memory, probably playing Mortal Kombat on the Mega Drive 
threw in what was my sister's room. Um, and yeah, just playing it with my friend Alex. And I remember I was, I think I was Sub-Zero actually. And he was Scorpion and I was kicking his ass. I kept freezing him and uppercutting him and then freezing him and uppercutting him. And he got so annoyed with me, he actually hit me. He actually punched me, right? So I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I thought it was funny because we were always hitting each other. So I thought it was really funny at the time. So I threw the controller at him. And we had a massive fight because we got so annoyed. And I think I'd won like six or seven fights in a row with him. Um, and yeah, that's probably one of my memories that really stick out with me. Another one would be when I bought a Super Mario 3 off my friend John at school, in primary school. It hadn't been out very long, but he'd completed it. Um, and I said to him that I had, an, I had a Nintendo Entertainment System, and he said, well, I've got Super Mario Brothers 3 that I don't need anymore. You know, will your mum let you buy it? Um, so I asked my mum when I came home. She said, yeah, phoned him up, and he came round and tested it out, and I bought it off of him. I can't remember how much I bought it off of him for, but um, yeah, I bought it off of him. I think it was like a, like a pound or two pound or something like that. Um, but that original one's gone with my original NES, I don't know where it went. But yeah, memories like that. And the memories will always stick with me in terms of like gaming and that. Um, they'll, they'll always stick with me. So that's my that's my memories. So um, I hope you enjoyed them. Right, and this one's going to be a long question. So I'm just going to double check how long I've got. Right, how in the name of Smeg do you make the time to play all your games and do you find the thought of finishing them all daunting considering how many you have? Um, I've got... Probably pushing well, 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 round about a thousand games. It doesn't daunt me at all. Um, and how in the name of Smeg, I love the Red Dwarf reference. How in the name of Smeg do you make the time to play your games? I just play them when I have time. I don't sit purposely um, take time off work to playing games. I just sit and play. If I've got time, I'll play. If I don't, then I'll, I'll leave it for another day. Um, and that's generally what I do. Um, and yeah, I get a lot of games, but it's games that I want to play. I don't purposely rush to play them, I'll just sit and play them if I've got time to play them, but I know they're there and because I've always wanted to play them and I know they're there, I can play them whenever I want, so that's the feeling that I get with gaming, um, I don't purposely go out of my way to um, make time to game, I just sit and game when I can, um, and that's pretty much it, and I've got a lot of games, yeah, but I don't find it daunting, no, not at all, um, I'll sit and play them when I play them, but they're my games, so I can do what I want with them, so I will play them when I get the time to. So thanks very much Will, much appreciated. Um, and we're running out of time, very much so. Um, right, in fact, <laughs> one minute, 20 seconds. Right, I'm gonna take some time off. I'm gonna be off next weekend, I'm gonna take some time off. Thanks very much for the question guys, much appreciated. Um, I'm gonna take next weekend off, um, but if I've got stuff for a competition, then I'll upload a video next weekend, and then I'll take the weekend after after that off. So it'll either be next weekend I'm off, or the weekend after that. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break, um, a little bit of a breather. Um, but yeah, so that's it. But I will be back soon, and there'll be more videos, there'll be more pickups videos, hopefully coming soon. Uh, and that's it. So take it easy, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for all the questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.